I've had to open up the battery compartment of my Jetson Bolt Pro quite a few times. In doing so, I guess I put a lot of wear and tear on the mounting brackets and they are now starting to look a bit worn if not completely broken. Today, I'm attempting to make these brackets not quite good as new, but close enough. Keep watching to see how I do this next. What I decided to do is fill the damaged area of the compartment with JB Weld. I've never used it before, but I'm hoping once the glue dries, it'll provide a durable enough foundation to hold a screw. JB Weld is a two-part glue that requires mixing equal amounts from both tubes to make the glue that will harden in about 4 hours and completely cure in about 24 hours. I'm not sure how much glue I'll need and I don't want to mix more glue halfway through this step, so I'm mixing the entire contents of both JB Weld tubes. The glue is pretty thick so I can't pour it into the space where I need it, so I'm using a thin stick to scoop up a little at a time and push the glue into the space, sort of like how I would use a spatula. Scooping small amounts at a time and pushing it into the space seems to work well and doesn't create too much of a mess. I knew that I'd be covering up the old screw holes once I filled the space with glue. To avoid losing track of where the old screw holes were, I put either nails or screws into the existing holes before filling the space with glue. I'm hoping I can remove the nails once the glue dries, leaving a perfectly sized pilot hole for the new mounting screws. I'm surprised that I only used up slightly more than half of what was in the mixing cup. To give the glue as much time as possible to cure, I'm going to wait 24 hours before attempting any more work. There's not much more work left to do. The hardest part, I thought, would have been repairing the broken screw holes. I've got my fingers crossed that the glue will take care of that and the work left to do is minimal. Now that the glue has cured for 24 hours, the first thing I want to do is remove the nails serving as placeholders for the pilot holes. I'm hoping twisting the nail will loosen it but not crack or crumble the glue. The nail does seem to break free of the glue pretty easily, but I'm just having trouble pulling the nail out of the hole. I ended up standing the compartment on its side, positioning the nail high enough so I could get some leverage to pull on the nail, while at the same time twisting it. I eventually got the nails out and the glue held together very well with no signs of crumbling or cracking. I want to test fit the glued compartment half, just to see if the glue affects the mounting of the compartment. The glue did dry with a lot of uneven surfaces, so I want to grind that as flat as possible. I also may need to grind or pry off some of the glue that is on the borders where the two compartment halves meet. If I leave the glue on those edges, the two halves won't connect to each other with a snug fit. I'm using my burr set of bits to do the shaving. It should make quick work of the glue, I just need to be careful not to grind the glue down too far. I'll use the spherical one to grind off a bulk of the glue, then go over it with the flat top one to level off the glue. I've got the compartment clamped to my table saw while I grind down the glue. The spherical one won't get the glue flat, but it's easier to do small sections at a time. Once the glue is shaved down to the depth I want, then I'll go over it once more with the larger flathead burr to get the surface close enough to flat. During this step, some imperfections in gluing might appear where the dried glue did not quite fill the entire empty space and has left a large air pocket. The air pockets can be filled in afterwards with more glue, left to dry, then shaven flat again. I'm using a pointed tip from my screwdriver set to clean up the edges. I'm amazed at how strong of an adhesive this JB Weld glue is. The bond to this plastic compartment, even for small strips of glue, is terrific. It was my first use of this glue, but good to remember for future reference. In drilling the pilot holes, I usually have a small drill bit that I use with number 6 by one half inch screws in wood. I could not use this same drill bit for the pilot holes in the JB Weld. For some reason, the glue binds up with the threads of the screw and it becomes impossible to turn. I ended up re-drilling the pilot holes using a 964 inch bit. Along with that, I had to wax the screws so that they wouldn't bind to the JB Weld. With the glued side cleaned up of any excess glue, now is a good time to confirm the two sides will fit together easily. 
All edges around the entire compartment should line up and fit snugly together. I've already mounted the glued side back into the frame. The bolts that still had threaded studs in the compartment are easy to screw into. Some reminders when using the number 6 screws instead of the bolts are redrill the pilot holes using a 964th inch bit and rub wax onto the threads of the screw before screwing it into the pilot hole. That's about it for this video. I'm using the reassembly of my Jetsons compartment as the outro. It's a detailed look at how I organize the controller and battery along with the wiring that connects the components. I have two upcoming videos you might want to watch for. One is on building my own replacement battery compartment that's large enough to fit an even larger battery. The other video will be on replacing my 36 volt 20 amp hour battery with a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery. I hope this video can prevent your purchase of a replacement battery compartment. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.